there is an old saying and perhaps you have heard it there's an old saying I don't know where it comes from we are told old men for counsel young men for war the thing about an elder the thing about an older person an old man an old woman is because of life itself the experience of life itself just living by the time you are 50, 55, 60, 65, 70 you would think because of life just living there are so many lessons within that time period that you have learned and if you have been on a job for a certain period of time or you have been in the military for a certain period of time and you have seen war and an older person have experienced there's a lot of lessons there's a lot of things you have accumulated in your lifetime at one time This was common and at one time this could be factual, this could be true. Unfortunately in 2022 we have people who are elders 50, 60, 70, whatever years old they have learned nothing in their life. And perhaps that's the reason why they don't teach the children anything because they have not learned nothing in their life. Silly, elderly, silly people, stupid people. Old men for counsel. Young men for what? Old men for counsel because during your lifetime there's a certain amount of wisdom there's a certain amount of smarts that you should have accumulated but you're old you cannot act upon certain things no more because you are elderly uh, the rheumatism uh, the bad back uh, the sickness uh, the diabetes the high blood pressure The rigors of time has taken its toll, but maybe I can share my experience with younger people, the lessons that I learned, so they can act upon those things and not make the mistakes that I did when I was a young man. Some people ask me, You always sound angry. You always sound upset. Why is that, man? You cannot attract nobody being angry all the time. You got to be nice. You got to be smooth. You got to you got to show mercy. You got to be loving. Well, we are living in a time where We're living in a time where <laughs> we have done that. We have been loving. We have been caring. We've told people these lies. Or you are God. You are king and a queen. And how great they are. How beautiful they are. 
you the original man, the supreme wisdom. We've been nice. And now you have a bunch of spoiled people who are called kings and queens and you given all these accolades and they have not lived up to those labels, those identities. They are nasty, they are profane, they are arrogant, violent and murderous. And many of them are rapists and killers. Why can't I be angry? An old man for counsel, young man for war. So I'm a young man. We go back to the early 80s. I'm a young man. I'm 17. I'm 18 years old. So I'm a young man. And I'm looking to my old man for counsel because I'm ready to go to war. I'm ready to continue the process of those from the 1960s. I'm ready to go to war. But I really don't know what to do. I'm just an angry young man. So why are you so angry? I'm angry because the old men that I looked up to for counsel the only thing they knew how to do, put me on the corner and sell some newspapers. Put me on the corner and sell some pies and some newspapers. That's what the that's the best the old man could do for me. For us. So you had a whole generation of, of men like myself. We just out here in America. Wandering. Because the elders don't know what to do. And when the elders do show you and guide you to doing something, they take you all the way back to 1920, 1930. Give us some rehashed, revised stuff. When your grandpapa, great grandpapa was born. They've learned nothing in their lifetime. They got a copy. What some, some other old people done. So. The elders have not learned nothing from the struggle. They have not learned nothing from their elders. So they give me, they give you refried beans, rehash crap, because they ain't learned nothing. So they repeat old stuff. An elder person is supposed to have learned because those things failed. They did not, they had a little success, but they did not cause us to progress. So, what did you learn? Why didn't they do that? You're going to give us the, the nation of Islam. The same old stuff from the 1930s. The Moor Science Temple. Same old stuff. They make mark of Dr. King, but Dr. King and the Civil Rights Movement was new. It never was done before. The Black Panther Party, they were nothing but youngsters themselves and they created the Black Panther Party and created these programs and something new. Who's on the firing line? Who are the old men that we look up to right now? A bunch of old geezers talking about what happened in 1920, 1930. I'm angry because I, I was a young man and my adults failed me. And I have nothing. Here's a can of navy beans. These navy beans are not fresh. They are tainted. 
Somebody added something to them or whatever. Who knows how old these Navy beings are in this camp. And that's what they have done. Giving us rewarm food. I follow the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Minister Fark. Rehab. In a can. It's not fresh. It's not new. It's not nothing. The Moor Science Temple. The Hebrew Israelite. All this old stuff in a can. That you put in a pot and you have to rewarm and stir. Anything in a can, it loses its nutritional value. It loses its nutritional value because it's not fresh. It was more effective back then because it was new, it was fresh. And you wonder why these things don't push us forward because they rewarm, rehashed, revised, come out of a can. Your elders, our elders don't offer us nothing new from the farm. They learn nothing from the past. They repeat that which is in a can. So as an adult, as an, as an elder myself now, I do you a disservice by guiding you, by suggesting to you to embrace this, this, all this old garbage from a can. It didn't come from them. Revise, warm up beans. When you come here, I'm not trying to teach you nothing. I want you to open your mind. So that you can create something new. Open up your mind young man. I want you to think. Because you don't have old men for counsel anymore. You're going to have to depend on yourself. Your elders and your counsel are silly old geezer men. That don't know what the hell they talking about or what to do. So you are on your own. I'm telling you my experience as an old man. As an old man now. That you don't follow these old heads like that. If you're not getting something new. Unique, original. Leave it alone. It's not going to get you nowhere. What did it get them? You need something new. Original. Use your brain because that did not solve the problem. The problem re remains. You are alive. That is dead. That is in a can. It's over. Expired. Your brain is just as good as Malcolm X, as Marcus Garvey, as Harriet Tubman, Marcus Garvey, Frederick Douglass, Sojourner Truth. What's wrong with our brains? So we can go to that next level. And you wonder why you're stalled. Why we're still here in this burning house as Dr. King would say. Following these losers. These old heads. That didn't learn a damn thing when they was young. Ain't learned nothing from their life experience. You should wonder, how come that didn't work? Why aren't we in a better place? Jot down your comments. Let's talk about it. I could be in error. I truly doubt it. I truly doubt it. The condition speaks for itself.